hi happy new year <laughs> so it is sunday the 8th the 8th of january i had to check my phone because i already don't know what day it is um but yeah it's 2023 happy new year thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here with me i appreciate you so so much um and thank you if you've been with me through 2022 your support means everything and I've really appreciated you all. Um, but yeah, wasn't 2022 a year? <laughs> Do you know what? 2022 was, I can't, I can't lie, it was quite a good year for me and myself and Brad and we, we got Chai. Um, it was the second year in, well, we celebrated a year living in this house. Chai's crying because Brad's just outside helping my, helping my stepdad change attire. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I can't moan. I don't get wrong, it came with its challenges. I think every year does. Um, I think that's just maybe life. Um, I don't know. But yeah, you've just got to take the, what is it, the punches with the, what is that saying? Is my brightness too high? A little bit. I don't know what that saying is. You've got to roll with the punches, that's it. You've got to roll with the punches sometimes. And you can't always have highs um, and you won't always have lows so sometimes when you think everything's going wrong eventually it's going to go right because it can't continue to always go wrong and just like when everything's going right not everything can always be perfect and that's something i need to remember because not for everybody else but from for myself personally i hold quite a, ho a high standard for myself and when I don't succeed at something or when I don't follow through with something I say I'm going to do or when something doesn't go how I pictured it, not externally, I don't, I don't put it on other people, but internally, I'm very hard on myself. Um, and I just need to remember that, you know what, life's life and we've just got to just go with it. <laughs> but anyway, I know daddy's outside. I know, I know, I know. Thank you. That's a nice kiss. Come sit down with mummy. Come sit down and see our friends. So, as always, last year I think I spoke about it. He wants to be in. He wants he wants you to see him this 2023. <laughs> um, but as always, yeah, I spoke about it last year that, like, New Year's resolutions. And have you set any? If so, what are they? Let me know. I'd love to know. Um, but I personally, I don't love New Year's resolutions. Not, only so recently I've decided this. So, like, the past few years I've decided it. Because... I found that I've put way too much pressure on myself to follow through with these New Year's resolutions that aren't always very attainable. So like, and also, realistically, what do we all do for a New Year's resolution? And I know, maybe not everybody, maybe it was just me, but every single year I'd go, oh, I'm gonna lose weight and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so healthy and I'm gonna like, don't get me wrong, if that's something that you genuinely want to do in a healthy way, amazing. But, I didn't need to lose weight. What? Well, I didn't need to lose weight. I never... Why would 15-year-old me need to lose weight? I was like this. Do you know what I mean? And I think it's just, that's just societal pressure saying, you need to be skinny. And it's like, no, you just need to be you. And you are fine the way you are. We're all beautiful in our own way, do you know what I mean? Like, and we need to just stop comparing. So a few years ago, I just was like, I'm not making New Year's resolutions like that anymore because then I feel rubbish when I eat the rest of the Christmas chocolate that's in the cupboard. And why should I? We've bought it to eat. I'm gonna enjoy it, do you know what I mean? Like, no. So yeah, my New Year's resolutions, I've wrote them down. Um, and like I say, they're not really resolutions. They are, I would like to exercise a little bit more because I don't really move that much. I love walking, so I think I'm going to go on more walks. So obviously, we walk chai, but like longer walks. So I think I'd like to do that. Um, I'd love to read more because I'm not a reader. I know it's such a shame. I'd love to be a reader, but I have like when it comes to reading, the attention span of a two year old. But yeah, I just haven't got the attention span to read. And I think it's because there's so many distractions that I could be doing that I just don't allow myself to just focus. That's easier said than done though. Telling myself focus is easier said than done because realistically, I struggle with it. Some people could read a book in a week. Some people could read a book in a day. Wow, 
incredible um but i would love to say that in 2023 hi darling hi thank you for the kiss thank you um i would love to say that in 2023 i read one book and i know that might sound a bit trivial like one book what's the point but to me i haven't read a book in years the last book i read was the girl on the train and i was on holiday and i really wasn't going on my phone or anything so i literally was just relaxing by the beach or the pool and i had nothing else to do and it was amazing and i loved that book and then at the end of it i remember feeling like, like this sense of achievement that i finished this book and i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it so i need to find a book that pulls me in straight away like that so if you've got any recommendations please let me know nothing like i don't want like a harry potter because i know i'll already be defeated by the time i see it but i also don't want just like <laughs> kipper and the magic key whatever it is that you got when you was at school <laughs> although they was pretty good i can't lie um to read more to exercise a little bit more to learn more and like educate my, myself a little bit more so i want to learn more about myself but i also want to learn more about the world we live in about the the people about the different cultures and the religions and everything like that because edu like knowledge is power and i feel like we're in 2023 and i should know about these different things i should keep on educating my thing myself on things like this because i feel like it's so important like I don't know I just I think I think I need to just I would like to know more and continue learning so another thing that I want to achieve in 2023 and I think I'm going to say this every year is I want to be kinder so I would say I'm pretty kind to other people I don't necessarily try to be kind I'd say it's just my personality I'd say I don't like the thought of upsetting people I really don't um but I also do try because I'm conscious of the fact that, oh my God, don't upset anyone ever. It, just anyone ever. Um, so this is great, great chatting to you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I would say to be kinder, especially to myself. I would say I'm very much my own worst critic, which we all are. Um, but I just think I need to use nicer words to myself and just like allow myself to make mistakes and forgive myself and allow myself to not be good at everything and allow myself to have downfalls and just forgive myself and be kind to myself for it and just be a bit compassionate like I would be to other people so I think treat myself how I treat other people because I can I am compassionate I am and I, and I, I am I know I'm a good person I, well I'm trying to be a good person I, I think I want to be a nice person I want to be better like i think not not comparing to other people but every year i want to be a better version of myself it's not a competition but i mean internally i always want to be better and do better um so i think yeah just to be kinder to myself because we can all be so horrible to ourselves can't we like literally so horrible <laughs> um, so yeah just to be kinder and then another one is to relax more or to try to switch off which is quite hard I would say for someone who's very anxious um definitely i would say i i believe i have adhd i am in the process of um being diagnosed with that nothing much has happened since last time i spoke about it but of course i will keep you updated if anything does if that's something you want to know about um so i am in the process of being diagnosed with adhd and i the more i look into it and read about it the more it makes sense um, so switching off is I've always found quite challenging because my mind so then not only that it's hard to switch off but then the anxiety kicks in um, it's just a challenge for me so even when I'm sat on the sofa chilling my mind is not chilling <laughs> so then I'm tired <laughs> because I'm like but you've been sat down for the last two hours yeah but you've not actually just relaxed so that's going to be a goal i don't know whether it's going to be achievable um and then also just less time on social media like less scrolling on my phone because i feel like as well that ag adds to uh, anxiety and also um, i don't think i do it but probably without me realizing i do we all compare ourselves and i feel like i don't need to compare myself you know what i am i am what i am i am who i am i look how i look um and I just need to learn to love that. 
and don't wrong i am definitely learning i'm not there but i'm being honest um but yeah <laughs> my mum's here so my mum and my stepdad they've come to see us but on the way they went through a pothole and they've damaged two tires so brad's outside with my stepdad in the process of sorting that my mum's made the most of our bath um because she doesn't have a bath at her house she has, only has a shower so she's had a bath and i'm sat down here with this lovely mess behind me i would say organized mess so that brings me on to what this video is it's just basically getting organized for 2023 i know we're in 2023 but we're just getting organized um so i've got to put all the christmas decks away so a few days ago i will insert the footage now i did start to take everything down so everything is down um it's just all behind me the trees outside ready to be picked up by the council um and then everything's yeah everything's down everything's ready to be packed away i just need to organize into the boxes so that is what we're doing in this vlog getting organized tidying up um mom, mom's here mom's just yeah. <laughs> oh that was lovely had a nice bath yeah really nice i was just saying that mum doesn't have a bath so you made the most of it we've got a shower i do shower <laughs> yeah. but you've had a bath <laughs> do you miss a bath i do yeah i do because i would you bath every day at our old ass or shower i'd probably bath every day mm. see i love a bath but i like a bath when i just want to chill yeah I couldn't bath you see, every I, day. I can be in and out of a bath as quick as I can a shower. Oh no, I, I sit in there until I'm like I've an had old longer person. Today, yeah. But I would uh, normally I can be in and out quick. Yeah. yeah now I'm in the bath until yeah. I shrivel up and or or get too hot and then my skin is pink and I'm like probably shouldn't have had it as hot as this. Um, but yeah, so this all needs to be put into its boxes and organised. So I thought you could be here while I do that because um, I love a good organisation video. Mm. I've been putting, I've washed all the jars up because I, I don't keep them down so I'm like, I'm not having them take up room in the cupboard no. when I know they're just going to. Well, have you got a thing, do you put them in like a bag? I've no, I just keep everything in the boxes. Oh, right. Um, so, so, the baubles go in here, the big yeah. ones go in here, if you want to do that. Any then. order? So so one just more. the big ones. Just the big ones. So not them ones, just the big ones. Yeah. There's next. The one yeah, because our tree fell down. Oh, did it? What? This big tray? Yeah. It fell over with everything on it. What? And that's why loads of these smashed. That's why I just ah, I didn't know it's that. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, when you filled that gap up. Yeah. Yeah, that'll fit that in there. Fit there. Right, so mm. these are trees, the lights for the, sorry, the, have a look. Let me write on it. Main Xmas tree. Yeah, they going in? They're outdoor lights, so they're going to go in there, isn't it? Although Brad did say he wanted to change the sock on it because he likes that white one. He said he wants to change it to a black <laughs> one. <laughs> this is my um, way of doing Christmas lights this year. So um, it doesn't look the best, but I've labelled it so that next year, so it's around a Pringles tube with a sock on it. I'm hoping. But next year, that's that is sock. Yeah, it's that is sock. But next year, I can literally put them out. This side, just for future reference brides. Um, this is to go at the end of the bay window, not the door. And then roll it out, roll it out. And then we've got our lights up just as we had them.
So everything is in its box, um, they are labelled on the other side but I am just going to print out some more labels to put on this side and this new box hasn't got any Christmas decoration labels so I'm going to put it on and then we can take them upstairs and then me and Brad can put them in the loft in a bit but it's organised and I've finally got a little bit of my living room back. <laughs> So before we put all of the Christmas decks up in the loft, while I'm up here, Brad's just watching football, I thought I would go through upstairs and possibly downstairs slightly and talk through some of maybe 2023 tasks. So in terms of what we'll be doing, the office room and that spare room will just be staying the same depending on what we get done. Um, they're thinking maybe getting a sofa bed for the office. But that'll be the only thing really then into this room well chai's clearly jumped on the bed auntie <laughs> um this bedroom not a lot has happened with it since we've been in if i'm honest we've just got the coats there so possibly this year we'll be getting some furniture maybe a set of drawers or something there um just make it a little bit so i was just thinking about what we could put there just making it a little bit more homely so that when guests comes to stay it fully truly feels like their home like their bedroom obviously it's going to look different but i want them to feel at home um and then sorry i'm just squeezing back all of the deck past all of the decks so coming downstairs into the kitchen we're gonna get a unit or a set of drawers or something when it focuses it's not loving it yes there we're gonna get that there and then we should be getting a chair we're getting the original one back so i'll be able to show you that soon and if we don't we're gonna get a different one for there possibly i'm not sure about this corner here maybe move that plant to there um or the set of drawers there and the plant there either or something's gonna be happening let us let me know what you think I wait which side you think the drawers should go um, and then the chair is going to go there because I like I really love the thought of sitting here drinking a cup of coffee and being able to see the whole of the kitchen and outside obviously it's dark now um, but yeah so that is the kitchen in terms of in here not got that many plans um, it's more so like the living room and everywhere like that so oh let me just show you as well i got some slippers um and they're cows look <laughs> they're literally they're from brad they're probably my favorite gift from brad ever <laughs> i love them um but into the garage please ignore the state of it it needs another good sort out but end of the day a garage is for storage um but the plan of attack for in here is we're thinking across this side of getting like a countertop and cupboards so essentially like another mini kitchen but without a sink or anything like that and then possibly bringing it 
along here, so it's a bit of an L. If the fridge needs to be moved, obviously, luckily the fridge fits under these anyway. So the fridge could be moved to like down here. Um, so that this is essentially like another working kitchen. So that all of the things like we can grab for chai, all of my jars for tinctures and things like that I really want to make next year um, can be stored here and everything will have its place. Um, and then possibly here get a little only a second hand one or just a cheap one like a little sofa so that when brad has his friends around playing darts and just this a bit of everything really this is going to be like a bit of a multi-functional functional room so we're going to get more shoe storage so it's a little bit more organized and hidden away um more kitchenette things so there's more storage again um obviously that's really handy to have honestly i recommend them so much from ikea they're so cheap um and oh, just getting things off the ground it makes such a difference so we love them but again every every year you need to sort out so because you just collect things in a house honestly it's ridiculous so and then i think obviously that's the exercise section down there with the row machine and the punching bag and then eventually when we have kids i'll probably just have some boxes in here with toys so that each day we'll just come and grab a few take them into the living room and have the toys down here so and at the end of the day we can put them away just so they're not everywhere but that's down the line that's down the line <laughs> um and then into the hallway this is going to be a whole video so we're doing a hallway transformation so light fitting painting oh my gosh hello felt like i was being watched this is being painted so we're gonna have a rug a different mat and it's going all the way up here so I'm excited for that. This is happening in February, I believe. So this will be exciting. And then into the living room, which we've not actually done that much with, have we, babe? The living room, just sofas and, yeah. obviously the sofas are an expensive job in themselves, aren't they? Um, well, we've got the poo thing. Yes. Which Dad's gonna be doing for us, hopefully. Yeah, so we've got the footstool. Um, which will be nice, and then. And then we're going to get a unit again or a set of drawers or something to storage there we're thinking then possibly a chimney breast Maybe a fireplace a fireplace yeah it's chimney breast in it a chimney breast or something um here and then a light here and a bookshelf here so We've got lots, and then the garden. We've got lots of things planned for the garden, which I'm so excited about. But yeah, just a reminder to everybody. And if you are moving into a house, don't expect to have everything done as soon as you move in. Because things are so expensive, no matter what. Like, I didn't expect to move in and get everything done. I'm really happy with the amount we've managed to achieve and get done in this house in just the space of what a year and a half so don't put pressure on yourself to have to move into a house and it look beautiful within a month or a year or two things take time and especially if it's an older house that needs work being done to it like and you're doing work to it that's so expensive so don't panic like just do things as and when you can afford it or you want to because sometimes don't get me wrong i love doing diy but i say i love de doing diy but brad does most of it so sometimes at weekends you don't want to do anything like you want to just chill or you want to go out like so things take time and money so no pressure from anybody <laughs> <laughs> we're putting everything up in the loft It doesn't even feel like five minutes ago since we were getting everything done, does it? Oh. 
I go on. You're a good boy, aren't you? We're not leaving you. We never leave you. I hope you would. I would never leave you. <laughs> ah, I miss you too. Mm -hmm. I miss you yeah. too. Daddy wouldn't. <laughs> this is his thing. He likes to put both legs on you. And sometimes we do this definitely. We have cuddles like this, don't we? I'm moving cuddles into you. The living room's naked. But Christmas free. So it's 4 4 40. 4 4. So it needs to be 2 2 20. It's already a bit higher. Just up uh, on that wall. Come on up here. I'd move the sofa that way anyway, a little bit nearer to the door. We're just planning the chimney breast that we're gonna, well, what we're gonna build, what Brad's gonna build. Um, I'm planning on like whereabouts. Obviously, we we want it central, but in terms of the sofas where they are. If Obviously, it was don't central, it, don't imagine it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. If it was central, it'd be very close to that sofa, as and far away from like looking at this one. So we're just undecided. For Christmas um, this year, from a couple of his family members, we got a blanket. I asked for um, some bedding and then some sheets, but. I didn't realise the sheets doesn't come with pillowcases, so I need to order some of them. So for now, we're just going to put white on the bottom, the new like beigey, biscuity colour on top, and then we've got a new blanket, which is nice because before we was using this blue one. Ah! Before, <laughs> before we had this blue one on, and it just wasn't go. It didn't go with the theme of the room. So it's because we've got a boy. It's because we've got a boy. Yeah, we've got a son. Don't yeah, just going to change the bed. <laughs> I'm not jealous, honestly, at all. I couldn't. I'm that good, I picked another pillowcase one. Pardon? I said, I'm that good, I picked another pillowcase one. <laughs> not the best made bed, but look how cozy that looks. Oh, love it. So it's much later now. It's literally, it's only half past eight, but it's Sunday night. Me and Chai are just chilling in bed. Um, Brad's playing on his game in the other room. I've got my laptop and a bowl of Cocoa Pops. God, I said that weird. A bowl. A bowl of Cocoa Pops with some oat milk. Um, I'm going to catch up on some YouTube videos that I've not watched um, for a little while while Brad plays that so we can both have some us time but actually still be in the house together i think it's healthy to do that um because that's what he wants to do and this is what i want to do um but yeah we're just going to chill now um, and then it'll be bedtime so i'm going to end this one here so this is technically not the first video of 2023 but also technically the first one I'm filming in 2023. Um, so yeah, it's been really nice. Sorry it's not been too busy. We've not had much planned. We've just been in the house, getting things organized. Yesterday, actually, we went out for, what did we do on Friday? No, on Saturday, I went out for some drinks with Brad's mom and um, his two cousins, Trina and Anne-Marie. And that was really nice. We, were, we stayed out longer than we thought. And I came back and I was merry but i was fine but alcohol just does not suit me so i still threw up so i feel like another resolution or goal might be just to not drink because now have one or two because i love like an april spritz or a baileys or just a, a couple but any more than that it just doesn't suit my body so i'm presuming that my body just rejects it 
Um, so from now on, I think I'm just going to have one or two drinks of which I enjoy and then just have stick to squash or apple tizer or something because I love a good apple tizer anyway. And I don't need alcohol to have fun. So, <laughs> but yeah, that was really nice. Um, it was a good time though. It was funny. We went for bottomless brunch, so it was good fun. So yeah, just going to chill now for the rest of the night. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I hope your 2023 is a beautiful one. And like I said in my last vlog, if 2022 was unkind to you or wasn't your best year, it's a new year now. Let's leave it behind. Let's start fresh, positive mental attitude. Um, and I hope you're all right. Yeah, but yeah, <sighs> bedtime. Well, technically, I'm in bed. This is it, new bed in. Although it's been washed because you have to wash it, wash it, don't you? Because it's like always like starching. But I don't like the feeling of like new bedding. It's too crisp. It's too like rough, if that makes sense, even though it's been cleaned. Um, so we just need to bed this in, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I hope you're happy and healthy because you deserve to be. And I shall see you next Tuesday. Mwah.